this tutorial, uh, we're going to cover the last step of uh, setting up with ULA practice, which is how to uh, get your accounts receivable updated within ULA from your old system. Uh, for that, what I've done is I've taken uh, a sample of, say, three clients for whom you have accounts receivable in your previous system. So they are Fred Couples, Jude Staples, uh, and uh, Mary Street Smart. And these are the three matters that you have. And these are the AR uh, balance date. This is when the last invoice was probably created in your previous system. Uh, that's your uh, AR balance. And that's your total. And your uh, for uh, the sake of this one, I've taken HST and this is your taxes. So let's say you have this as your uh, AR balance that you're putting in your spreadsheet. How do you bring that into ULA? And I'm going to show one or two, and then we will uh, do an AR report in the end, an AR balance, and we will see how it uh, actually works. Now, to do your ba AR balance in ULA, what you need to do is you need to go to Accounts and click on Document Generation, Balances, and then do General. And right now, the AR balance is uh, nothing. It's, it's empty, so it's going to actually show you that as if there's a... Uh, uh, nothing in ULAW. Now, what we want to do is at the end of the whole process, get this document the same as this Excel spreadsheet. Now, to do that, I'm going to create the three clients and the, um, the matters for them first. So let me do that. So I'll keep the two windows next to each other. I'll say contacts, new client, uh, Fred couples, save and matter, and I'm going to say the matter is Fred versus Jill. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this. I'm going to say on 28th of November. Okay. I want to say flat rate and say AR balance from previous system I will say $200 and hit the save button now when I do that it'll tell me that the balance is 226 for Fred now let me repeat that for two more so I'm going to say new contact clients and I'll say June staples I'll say save and matter I'll say June versus Dean. The date is 12th of December. And I'll say again that uh, AR balance from previous system. The software is pretty smart. It learns that you typed that before. So you can say flat rate. And this time it's $300 as per, uh, you know, the total. And when I hit the save button, it will tell me that this client now owes us 339 and now the last client I need to create which is Mary Street Mart so I'll say client Mary Street Smart save and matter and obviously I'm going to say speeding 90 at a 60 zone and again, the date is 19th of uh, December. And again, I can say AR balance, not make that a flat rate. And this time it is uh, 513.72 and hit the save button. Now I've created the three matters. So I've created, as you'll see now, like, you know, Fred Couples, uh, uh, you know, Jude Staples and Mary Street Fund, all three clients are there and their matters are there. Now, what you need to do is you need to create an AR balance on each of these dates. And it's as simple as just raising an invoice for each of these matters on those dates. And then you will see that the AR will automatically be there. So let me first do for Fred Couples. So I'm going to go for Fred Couples. His invoice was on 28th of November. So I'll say document generation invoice complete and I'll change this date to 28th of November so be very careful about that because that's the date which will not match with that and then I'm going to create invoice 
and then I do a download. Now before I do for Jude Staples and Mary Street Mart, I just want to make sure my AR is now matching. So I'll go to accounts, and I'll say document generation balances general. I'll do a quick download and when I open that statement, I should already see that my AR Fred Couples 28th of November 2015, $226 matches with what I'm supposed to be actually seeing. So now if I do it for the other people, I should get an AR balance of uh, 1145.50. So let me now go to the next client, which is Jude Staples. And we know Jude is on 12th of December. Again, document generation, invoice complete, 12th of December, I'll do invoice, I'll do a download, and I will do Mary Street Mart on uh, 19th of December. So let me go back to Mary, and I'll do document generation, invoice complete, and it is on 19th of December. I'll do an invoice and download. Now I'm ready to generate my final AR statement in ULOT to match with what I have from the previous system. So that's previous system. So let me now open my final AR statement before I start using ULOT. So which is balances general download. Let me keep the AR balance that I generated from ULAW and the previous system next to each other. And clearly you see that they are now matching. So it says Fred Couples, November the 28th. 226, Jude Staples, 339, and you know everything is matching. So even the HST of balance, so if I would go to ULAW and I would say accounts, liabilities, taxes, HST, uh, receivables, and if I click on that, it will now tell me that my HST receivables is 131.78 matching with the AR HST receivables. So once you've matched your, your uh, AR general balance with what you have in your spreadsheet, you're pretty much ready to go. So to summarize, uh, what I'm going to show you is first and foremost, you need to prepare the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet of your current AR balance need to be prepared. So that's, uh, you take all your clients, first name, last name, the matter name, the AR balance date, the total AR balance, what is the AR and the HST. Like, you know, how do you, it's a nice process to actually split the two. Once you have this, to get that into ULOC, what I did was I created the three clients. For each of the clients, I created a matter. Obviously, I set the area of practice. This time I set it to other, but you could set it to whatever it is for that person. I put a docket equivalent to the AR total and that automatically brought the projected balance to the AR balance. Then I raised an invoice for each of them that brought the AR balance, uh, made that accounting touch point to actually brought, bring the AR balance to for that client. At the end of it, I went to accounts. I clicked on document generation. I did a balances and general. Actually, I did that at several times during the process and I matched it up with every line item here. And when I matched it up with all the line items, the total uh, pretty much matched up uh, and the HST matched up as well.